He's been really good for us, man. I mean, obviously, he came to us in a weird way. He was going to go to San Diego State, and then that didn't happen. He was going to go to Long Beach City, but then their season got canceled because of uh, the COVID-related things. So he's come over here. He's been good for us. Um, really good teammate. He's been working hard. He's a terrible umpire in inter squads, but other than that, he's been really good. And just stuff-wise, I mean, it's 6'4", it's 220. It's you know, it's 90 to 93. He has a really, really advanced changeup for being 18 years old. Um, the slider can be good at times. It's probably where he needs to work on the most, but... I mean, for 18 years old, I mean, it's the, the sky's the limit for him. I just That's all I wanted this whole time is just to get out and play some baseball. But um, things didn't go as planned. I had transferred a couple times already. So, yeah, it's good to finally get back out there and start playing some competitive baseball. It felt really good. I think it's overall helped me that, that time off. I feel like I got better throughout the, all the quarantine. So um, it feels good getting out here, but also um, it's been a while. So I'm kind of a little bit rusty. And hopefully as time goes on and more and more games, um, I'll get better and better as the year goes on. Right, a lot of a lot of my teammates ask if I like get rattled at all with a lot of people being in the stands, a lot of decision makers in the stands watching me. I don't really, I think of it as if they're not even there. I always play like, I play my own game. I don't really try to do too much for other people or or just go crazy with that. I kind of just play my own game. I don't worry about anybody out there, any distractions. I just do my own thing. We've been working a lot with his tempo on the on the bump, um, trying to get some better extension. He's 6'4", but doesn't really get the, the full 6'4 off the rubber. Um, and then trying to tighten up the slider and get a little more velo on it. That's, I know that's what the scouts want to see. You know, it's been like a 77, 79 mile hour pitch. They want to see it more up to 80, 81. So he's done it at times. Just working on getting that a little more consistent for him. Um, I'm working on everything, all aspects of my game. Um, I'm trying to boost it up so that it's not as much of a doubt like there was last year. All these guys want to see more out of me, uh, how far I can get into games, my pitches. So I definitely feel like I've improved on all that since last uh, draft. So I feel like it's going to benefit me um, this year. Um, just my knowledge of the game. Also, I've been I've been playing it since I was really little at a high high level. I've always been on the best teams. Um, I definitely feel like me being a lefty is a is a high uh, need in the professional level. So I feel like that benefits me a lot. And also having an older brother that's also played the game and also is playing at the pro level right now it helps me. It helps me um, think of the, think of the game differently. And he also tells me things that not your regular team or player is going to think about things. So I talk to him all the time. Uh, he tells me pretty much everything to expect when it comes to Juco and even at the next level. So I learned a lot from him, especially him being home all quarantine. He was here for about like eight months or to a whole year. So all that time we got to spend together um, throwing every day, it definitely helped me where I'm at right now. So I definitely feel like I'm still working up to where I want to be at towards the end of the year. but. Uh, I definitely feel good right now. I just my coach is keeping me at a pitch limit, so we're gonna build off of that, and hopefully by the end of this year I'll be 100% ready to go for the draft. So.